Hey guys, what's up? Sloppy here. Back in uh, our Minecraft world. Oh, look at that little tiny guy running in our trench. Yes, silly person. You can't get up here. Oh, I can hit him. How about that? You gonna come back? You wanna come back? No. Okay. He's just playing. Yeah, so you guys can see I got a little uh, nether wart farm out here. Uh, nothing too good yet. That's kind of my next project. Getting some of these farms a little more automated. Nether wart's pretty easy to automate. Um, and so are pumpkins and wheat and everything. So I want to get some of this, uh, you know, automatic so I don't have to do as much work. But yeah, this is uh, it's just nice to have. Uh, nether wart is coming in handy because of, uh, you know, potion brewing and such. So let's uh, head downstairs. These guys, there's still only six of them. Um, I haven't really been breeding them up. I don't uh, have that much bread on me. I guess I can throw you guys this one piece. Oh, I threw it too close. Here, somebody, uh, somebody take this bread. Yeah, so they're uh, they're not breeding too much on their own, so I'm going to have to get them some bread and whatever, and then maybe I'll let them go. But yeah, I set up a little uh, potion brewing area. It's not very good right now, but that's, uh, that's fine. Um... It's good enough. I made some potion of swiftness, the eight minutes. Um, in here, some potion of weakness. Potion of weakness is cool. I'm going to uh, turn those into s potions of harming. I think if I can. I think I can if I add something. I don't know. I'm not very good at potion brewing. Um, there's my fortune three. I'm not very good at potion brewing. Uh, never really done it too much. I mean, I managed to make those. Those are kind of the only ones I knew how to make, and strength potions. But I want to get some splash potions of harming, which I know you add gunpowder and fermented spider eyes and stuff of that nature. Uh, these we'll put in here, I guess, for now. We're probably going to make another chest. We're kind of running out of storage space. I mean, there's tons of places to put chests. But I just haven't put any down. Um these in here so that's kind of where we use them um nothing really to enchant right now because my levels are pretty low which is actually i think what we're going to look at today we found a blaze spawner so we want to get a blaze farm going and then there's also the cave spider spawners which is what we're going to work on today and make that into sort of a little xp farm and uh i guess spider eyes is good to get from there and that sort of stuff stuff that you would get from those. I'm going to grab some of this watermelon because I have no food. Although watermelon's like the worst to have for food, I find. Um, it takes so long. Ah, whatever. Um, I'll eat I'll eat off camera. You know, these are too slow to eat on camera. Can I eat as I'm going through the portal? Cool. So in the nether, just to show you real quick, this is what I've got. It's uh, very simple. Just some stone brick. Uh, throw some glowstone. I haven't decided what to do with the floor yet. I think it would, but that uh, burns up a little too easily, so I'm not sure what to do with the floor. If you have any ideas, shoot them at me. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, right now, the only bridge into this fortress is that little one over there. I'm thinking I might put one up uh, a little closer, maybe from over here to that pillar. Just an easy way, put a rail line on it or something, just to get an easy way into the nether fortress. I need the covered way, so I don't have to deal with, don't have to deal with you jerks or gas. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put that up. Uh, that's sort of all off-camera work because it's really boring. Just wanted to show you guys what I had done. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for the floors, please, somebody, somebody help me with the floor. I could do a design with, like, the andesite and stuff, but I'm not sure. Anyway, today we'll be working down in the mine for a bit, which is all the way down here. I'll let you guys know when I get there. See you soon. All right, we're down in our mine shaft. Okay, uh, oh. dropping frames, but I think we're all right. Yeah, we got a lot of these guys floating in here. Um, yeah, as you can see, they either go up or down, which is kind of annoying. I think we can stop them from going up, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Ethos lab, Etho made um, a design on one of these, which is more or less a similar thing. They go up or down, you hit them with a splash pushing of Harmon, and you get a ton of drops and a ton of XP. That's uh, basically what we're going to do here, sort of as a starter one. First thing I want to do though is put um, 
sorry, <laughs> that's uh, the unexplored part of the mine way over there. It's huge. Um, if I haven't said that before, yeah, it's really big. But, uh, sorry, this is bugging me for some reason. I don't know. Um, first thing we want to do is put lights in here so we can turn it on and off. So we got to get some glowstone and some redstone lamps uh, up top there. And of course I didn't bring any down, which is fine because we're actually almost out of food. Um, so I'm going to run back up and grab that. I guess I could have just recorded this once I'd already done that. Um, so you see these things just pile up. Um, I could just put a fence here as well. If they can hit you through the fence, um, I think but you can't hit them. Something like that. Anyway, I'll play with this a little bit, but I, right now we're going to go turn it on and off. So I'm going to go grab some glowstone and some redstone. Be all right back. All right, so I thought I thought on my way to get food and whatever, I'd stop up here and, uh, you know, give the cows a good time. Um, get them some food and whatever. Oh, hello. I think, uh, I think they're pretty much good. I think this guy could uh, get a little loving. All right, and now uh, the uh, the uh, the fun part. I mean, they might like the love part more, but uh, it's all about that killing. Uh, I wish I had a looting sword. Oh well, it's not a big deal. I have to AFK here at some point because um, I think I'm just a little bit out of range for them. Because uh, these guys, I bred them quite a while ago, and they're not grown, neither has the wheat. So I think me at my house is just a little bit out of range for these guys, which is too bad. I mean, I might move some cows closer to me, or, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I might, I was thinking about building some farms that spawn just so they're always going. So uh, I was talking about that automatic farm earlier, so that might be... That's an idea that uh, maybe we'll go at spawn. Um, although I was going to use spawn for something else, but I guess I guess I could use it for that. Or I could use it for everything. I don't know how big my spawn chunk is. It's not important. What am I talking about this? This is way, this is way past where we're at. We are going to uh, get some cave spiders. Dead. Dead cave spiders. We should move a potion thing down there too. Um, but we need to get some more... Um, Brown mushrooms is what we're missing to make our harming potions. That's what we're low on. Those brown mushrooms. So we're going to have to get a mushroom farm going too. <laughs> we really... Resource collection is what we need right now. You know, that's uh, that's big on our list. We finally found sheep. I don't know if you guys watched last episode. We finally found sheep. But they are um, way on the top of a hill. Uh, it's a gorgeous hill. Like I actually love it up there. I'm going to build something up there for sure. Uh, maybe like a sheep sanctuary. Because that's the only place I've found sheep within a good, you know, 500 block radius. Um, so, yeah. That's that's something we got to do. Lots we got to do. Lots we got to do in this world. It's sort of brand new, right? It's only been a week or two. But here we are, back at the farm. Bam. Got some redstone. Let's uh, make a couple of these. I think uh, it's just... Yes, okay, uh, so we want, I'm going to go f five of them, we need one more of these, wait, no, it's three, okay, we need five glowstone lamps, I think is what I'm going to go with, under toi, under toi, it does not work if I do it in French, does it? Okay, so we're going to put these into the roof, we'll put a lever somewhere around here to turn them on off blah 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 and uh, I will come back when those are installed because that's pretty boring to watch see you right well see you soon all right guys so uh just did an entity count there's about a hundred in here give or take um that would take a while to get rid of anyway we got the lights in place um Well, that's bizarre. Apparently, they're not doing anything. Okay, I'll fix that after. This was working just a second ago. I think I know what the problem is. I just knocked off this. Um, sorry, sorry, dude. Uh, I'll put one up here. Um, I think I know what the problem is. I 
Yeah, I gotta put this. This, yeah, it's the repeater that's causing them to be crazy. Um, okay, we'll go like this. Uh, that should do it. Um, yeah, it's just a simple trail of redstone going up. And uh, so it should off, on, off. Yeah, yeah. So that should uh, more or less keep it lit. It should definitely reduce the spawn rates when they're on. I mean, they're still spawning, but it's definitely lower. Might put some underneath if I really want to turn it off permanently. But I think it's far enough away, especially when we're up top and stuff, that it doesn't spawn, which is awesome. So the only thing left is to get some potions going and to smash these guys. Um, so they're all going up, so we can take out this bottom part, I think, would be fine. So they'll all go up, uh, we can put a piston right there. Because they're going up, we can block it off, uh, sort of hard to see. We can put a block behind this one, that'll keep it up there, and then we can put a piston, which will smush them all. Some will go down, whatever, but it'll smush most of them. We can get them down to, uh, low enough that one potion kills them all. And, um, yeah, that's more or less the plan. So we just gotta get a block in there, which... Let's go through here. We just gotta get one... Um, ah, come on. Ah, I can't put one there yet. There's a spider in the way. Okay, so we gotta get rid of these guys. Where's this asshole that hit me? Sorry, where's this jerk that hit me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Then we gotta put a hopper down there. A few quick little things that we gotta do. Um, but yeah, we gotta get a block right here. Oh my gosh. This is super annoying. They're on, yeah. I mean, they'd, they'd be spawning a lot more if that wasn't there. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go grab my stuff and we'll get things sorted out. Alright, so <laughs> we're back and we got it mostly set up. Um, the only thing we're missing is obviously the, uh, splash potions. But anyway, uh, more or less, um, a bunch will come in here. I can't really hit them. We can put glass on either side. And I think that will let us hit them. If we go like this. Um, oops, uh, put glass here. I think we can hit them through the side. They'll go up. You can... Ah, that's a problem. So we need to get a sticky piston with a block on it that'll smush them. But that's a, more or less, there'll be a block so that'll crush them. This, they can slide over top and under because it's not a full block. So we need to get a sticky piston. Anyway, we can hit them, we can throw potions at them through the fence. But that's more or less what we have to do. We can decorate this whole room, but I'll do that another time. <laughs> this was quite the fail of an episode. Anyway, yeah, the only thing, uh, other thing, we'll put a hopper on the bottom here. The full block with the sticky piston, and uh, then we'll have a fully functional string spider eye XP farm. Oh, okay, and the only reason we want to kill them with the um, the reason we want to kill them with the potions instead of just crushing them the whole way is because crushing them will um, not give you the XP. The potion will register as you killing it, so that'll give you more XP. Obviously, you lose a few in the top parts, which is. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, a couple will go up, but eventually they'll come down. This should give us a pretty good return. You can see there's already, uh, I guess, they can hit you through here, so. I guess there's already, um, maybe like 10 in there, just from us. I They've only been spawning more or less since I started recording. You can see it switches. We'll probably take out the glass around the sides, because that does let in a lot of light. This can obviously be a lot more efficient. You can see it's actually pretty well lit up because of all this glass. So we can completely enclose it. We can make out here a little darker. Whichever way. I'll do uh, some of the decorating stuff off camera. I just wanted to show you guys that it's more or less up and running. Uh, we just gotta get a sticky piston. Still have not seen a single slime. So that is something that we have to find somewhere. I don't know where, but I have not seen a single slime. But yeah, let's leave the lights on, I guess. Um, that's it for right now. I'm going to head upstairs, and then I'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll do something upstairs to end the episode. Alright. Alright, guys. Um, so, to end the episode, 
I was actually just going to uh, put an enchant on uh, some of my equipment. Um, I don't really need <laughs> that much because uh, obviously protection one, protection on breaking three. Um, yeah, obviously it doesn't need to be that high. Blast protection, fire protection, protection three. I'm only <laughs> looking at the top one, I guess. Protection one and protection one. I'm going to throw that on there. Yeah, this is just to do for now. Um, and then eventually I'll... Uh, fire protection. Fire protection. I mean, eventually I'll get the diamond armor. And by that point, hopefully, I will have a little bit higher uh, levels. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully by that point I will have, uh, you know, the level 30... Oh, I don't have enough levels. Okay, whatever. Uh, normal boots then. So, I mean, it's a little bit of more protection than what I had. It's not a big deal. I just wanted to get... Um, I mean, I, it's a couple levels. It's not a big deal. Um, I mean, once the farm... The spider farm's up and running, I can do all kinds of level 30 enchants. Um, so, yeah. And then, obviously, the blaze farm will be up soon because I found the spawner. That's sort of uh, what's happening maybe next episode or, I mean, within the next, you know, four, four or five episodes, we'll get a blaze farm up and going. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's sort of how a cave spawner works. Um, hopefully, next time I'll have one finished for you. But then again, I do need a slime ball. And I have just, I have not found one, which is super weird. But I'll keep looking. If I find one, it'll be done. If I don't, it'll be like that. I can always just throw maybe two or three potions of harming, however many it takes. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And ciao.